I think today is the perfect day to add combat to my little mining game. I'm using Godot 4.2 right here, and what you see is the end result. So now let's go back and see how I actually got here. The first thing I need here is a new scene and script for my projectiles, and I'm going to use some placeholder art for kind of a magic bullet looking item. Then I'll quickly set up the collision shape so we can collide with the enemies and or the terrain. And I'll throw together a quick little script here to move along the X axis and accelerate as we're doing it, adjusting for the delta during that process function. Now let's add in a shoot action to our input map and we'll simply put that to Q for now. So now when we press Q, we'll go ahead and instantiate a new projectile and use the add child method to add it to our main scene. Let's do a quick test and oh my gosh, that is way too fast. Let's try clamping it down, kind of lowering the acceleration and the top end velocity of the projectile. So let's see what that looks like. Okay, that is a bit better, but I'm not sure I'm sold on having any acceleration for these projectiles, but I do want to have them actually aim at the mouse. So let's use look at and the global mouse position to see if we can get them to just kind of rotate toward the, um, no, that's not what I was exactly going for here. I mean, it is rotating toward the mouse, but that's not exactly it. So what if instead we rotated the velocity so it's aiming at the mouse position? Oh, nope, nope, that is, that actually might be worse. Let's see here, could it be this line? I mean, it can't be just one line of code, could it? Oh, yeah, it, it was literally one line of code and commenting it out actually fixed it instead of breaking things. Hm, who would've thought? I'll take, I'll take the W. For my next trick, I'm gonna hop into a sprite and create a little bit of an animation for the bullet so that it explodes on impact to make it a little bit more dynamic. And I'll throw those sprites into an animated sprite for an explode animation. It'd be helpful if I actually stopped the velocity when we collide with a piece of terrain. And that looks a lot better, but you can see the bullets still sticking around. So we'll use a signal from the animated sprite called animation finish. And then when the explode animation finishes, we can use Q free to clean up the bullet. And that looks quite a bit better the animation really does make it feel more dynamic but now we need something to actually shoot our bullets at and so we're gonna have to update our bat friend here by giving them an area 2d and then also adding in a collision shape as always now bats fly right so i want to create some sort of interesting physics enabled flight simulation for the bat but i gotta keep it simple here so we're just going to use a simple velocity with only the y value set and then if the bat collides with the floor or the ceiling will invert it so it kind of flies up and down in something that i guess is somewhat interesting uh so i wouldn't call that exactly interesting but i do notice it is moving downward albeit slowly and it looks like it's not colliding so maybe my physics layers are set up incorrectly yep oh yeah i just i hadn't updated them at all so let me go ahead and change it so that the bat can actually collide with the train and then is part of its own enemy layer okay let's see if that did the trick here uh hope oh, yeah it did the trick but now can we shoot it let's see Maybe probably also a collision issue. Oh yeah, I just didn't put the bat in the right actual layer. Uh, let's go ahead and test it again. And that's combat. That's combat done. But now I wanna spawn the bats all around the cave. And to do that, I wanna do something real simple and maybe kind of dumb. And we're just gonna keep track of all of the tile map locations where we didn't put a wall, shuffle that array, and then we'll go ahead and for however many enemies we wanna spawn, we can use that array to find basically a random unused tile in our tile map. And then we'll use the map to local to find the global position for where that bat should be located. And it, it did end up working on the first try, more or less. And uh, you know, it's it's a dumb solution, but it's simple. And, and just like that, combat's been added to my little cute little mining game here. I'm not sure where we're gonna take it next. Let me know what you think I should do down in the comments below or come chat with me over in my Discord. I've been Aramis, thank you so much for watching.